Hey everybody, it's Mike here with Gun Training 101. Today we're going to be going over drawing from concealment on a strong side hip holster. Now if you've watched my previous appendix carry video, uh, that's the way I carry. Other than that, I generally carry strong side and I recommend keeping firearms always on your strong side. So if you think of your body as a clock, from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock, if you're right-handed, that's your strong side. There's no reason to be cross-drawing. It's more of an advantage to the attacker than it is to you. So always keep it on your strong side. Now, <coughs> I'm carrying right now a full-size XD service model, okay? So if I can still carry that, and you can't see that, then obviously I'm doing it in the proper manner. Um, strong side hip basically is right here. Now when you think, excuse the freaking helicopters, um, if you think of strong side, a lot of people want to say the three o'clock, which is the corner of the hip. As a concealed carry holder, you do not want to put your holster in your firearm there because an onlooking person, it makes you look wider on one side. By allowing your firearm to be at the four o'clock position, which is here, it allows the grip of the gun to wrap more around the back of your body and you don't bulge out to the side. Um, with that being said, you need to practice drawing from this position. It can be a little bit different for a lot of people. I'll go over it real quick with you guys, the process of drawing. Um, from the hands up, the first thing you need to do is remove the garment. So with the support hand, keeping your strong hand in tight, you're going to reach over and rip away that garment. The strong hand is then going to grip the firearm. From there, you're going to pull, rotate. You can engage from there if you need to, join, extend, and then engage your target. Once again, cover it up. Grip the garment, pull, grip the gun, rotate, join, extend. Always start out doing this in a dry fire scenario, okay? You can even do it from your house. No live ammunition present. Dry fire, dry fire, dry fire. Practice drawing from concealment before you go to the range, okay? There's no reason for an incident to happen. Um, you need to dry fire multiple times before you actually go ahead and try to engage your target. Once again, you guys, thanks for joining me. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.